Wait, Jed is lying? Y'all came in with receipts, man. Dang. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop up video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, The Pascal Show, one word. Hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Anyway, we got to jump into this story. Now, you know, we've been talking about this whole Jada Will Smith situation and i feel like as much as we think we're done with jada jada just ain't done with us it keeps getting crazier and crazier wilder and wilder now there is more information out here uh or actually people out here have been doing their due diligence doing uh some real sleuthy work in the pop culture realm and people came in with receipts or at least this particular person came in with receipts, which we are going to be looking at this video uh, from this TikToker here in a little bit. But I do want to share you with you guys the clip that basically sparked it all off. She is in this interview promoting her new book that's coming out in a couple of days called Worthy. She was on this podcast called All the Smoke. They talk about Tupac proposing to Jada whilst he was in locked up okay wow he was locked up okay and she had some things to say so i'm going to share with you guys we have talked about it before we covered it a little bit briefly on a last a past live talking about this but at the same time you got to have this for context before we go into the main video let's take a watch a lot of people might not know but he proposed <laughs> to you while he was in jail I talk about this in the book when I go to see him in Rikers, when I wrote about that in the book and when I had to um, talk about it, uh, speak my words for the audible version of the book. That was probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in and having to leave him there. <laughs> now, I just want to say really quick, she says she saw him while he was locked up in Rikers. In Rikers, okay? I just want to make that abundantly clear before she talks about the proposal. Oh, and also how interesting that she puts in, oh, the audio audio uh, portion of this book really, really got me emotional. You know, didn't you see that's kind of a little bit of a promotion to go, hey, buy the go buy the audio version of this book as well uh, uh, because I'm sure you're going to hear me crying or so, you know, weeping in these recordings. Let's continue. She sells the hell out of this book, y'all. I mean, it, it, as much as we can argue, we can argue about this all the live long day, but let's be real. My Lord, she sells the F out of this book. Hamburger. Let's continue. And um, he was in, he was, he was in, a, he was, he was, he was in bad shape. And so when he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. Remember that. And I knew at that time that, A, he needed somebody to do time with him, mm. which I was going to do anyway. He didn't have to marry me to do time with <laughs> right. right? Let me Let me just say this. She says, I was, I was going to do time with him. That's what I was going to do. This is all important. I know a lot of y'all like sitting there going, why? Why are we even looking at this all over again? This is re no, trust me. The, the math is not mathing. She's sitting here going, no, you know I was going to ride with him. You know I was going to ride. You know I was going to hold it down. I'm a rider, right? I'm, 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 you know. Nah, let's continue. Hey, I'm, I'm here. I see why we love you. <laughs> and then to, um, like he needed a rock. He needed, uh, because of our friendship and because of everything we had been through together, he just wanted to feel that solidified foundation. Mm. You know, because I promise you, he would have married me and divorced me as soon as he said his last So that piece is very interesting to me. Okay. And I know a lot of y'all, I know there's a lot of people that are holding it down for Jada and all that, but there is a lot of questions that are posing being popped up or being presented now because of what she said in this interview. It, the timeline's not matching up. Now, we talked about a little bit, we tapped on this a tiny bit during my live uh, show where we talked about literally, 
wait a second. Wasn't there a woman named Keisha that he married while he was locked up? Is this the situation where he just basically threw out proposals to just anybody that was willing to be there mentally in this prison with him? Now, there's a possibility of that. There's a good possibility of that. But at the same time, though, there's a, a TikToker that presents a very, very solid timeline that shows that the math that she's saying in this past podcast interview on All, all the Smoke ain't mathing. You guys got to go check out Jess, the prequel, does Miami. That's her TikTok. We're going to be looking at this. I'm going to be hopping in and out. But you have got to check this out. Again, there's a part one and part two. We're going to be watching both of them. But the math ain't mathing, okay? I'll put a link in the description box just so you guys can have it. And you guys can go follow all that stuff. But she breaks it all the way down. Let's rock and roll. Jada's lying and I have the timeline to prove it. And I'm literally in the middle of moving. That's why I look raggedy, but I cannot handle these fucking lies anymore. Jada is currently on her pay attention to me tour and she is making all these wild claims, including that Tupac proposed to her while he was at Rikers. Mm. Really? The math isn't mathing. So let's take a look. Tupac was convicted of sexual assault charges on February 8th, 1995. From there, he was sent to Rikers prison only to be transferred less than a month later, to Clinton Correctional Facility. And she specifically said she went to see him. This was not mm. on the phone. Look, when I go to see him in Rikers, probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in, and having to leave him there. Cool. So prior to going into Rikers, Tupac already had a girlfriend named Keisha. He mm. proposed to Keisha, her words, in a September 2011 interview. He proposed to Keisha before he even went into prison. They were already engaged. They were already engaged before he was incarcerated. That's huge. He proposed to her before he went into lockdown. They got married in April. And in the time that he got sentenced and was taken to prison, Keisha actually moved closer to be by him and be by the prison and saw him on a near daily basis. That's absolutely crazy. But I do want to show, share with you guys what she said here. And this is from Keisha's own words. Okay. This is a, a quote she gave or an interview she gave with the double XL uh, in 2011. She said, I was the one who basically stopped my life when he was in jail. I moved closer to him. I made sure I was on visits. I made sure he had packages. You can't send a package to prison. You have to go to the store and have the store ship it to the prison. It was like my day revol revolved around him and what his needs were. So she was holding it down. She was a ride or die, okay, for this man that she was engaged to and eventually married to, y'all. So again, it doesn't make any sense what he was just throwing game to everybody, throwing proposals to this anybody. But this is was his live in girlfriend for a minute. And then they got married while he was locked up. Doesn't make any sense. Let's continue. Prison. Keisha actually moved closer to be by the prison and saw him on a near daily basis. When he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. So you're telling me that mm. in the three to four week window that he was at Rikers engaged to another woman who had moved closer to the prison and was there almost every day, Tupac proposed to Jada. But hey, Jess, you might be saying to yourself, Tupac wasn't known to be a one woman man. He True. was he was no angel. Fair enough. Let's see where Jada was during February of 1995, which was, as we've already established, the only time she would have been able to see Tupac at Rikers since he was only there for less than a month. Rut row. You see, Jada had already met Will Smith in 1994 on the set of Fresh Prince for Bel Air, but Will Smith was married, and so nothing happened between them. But in February mm -hmm. of 1995, Will Smith was served divorce papers by his wife. Five days later, on February 19th, Will called Jada and said, Are you single? And she said, Yep. Will said, We're together now. Jada said, Cool. And she immediately flew to LA. She flew so immediately that when he called her, she was in Maryland at a brand new house she bought and she never spent a single night in her new house. 
Yo, let me just say this really quick. Damn. Now, I, I'm going to be real. We got to talk about this part real quick. There's a possibility that, okay, they met on the set of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Will and Jada, maybe there was a spark that went off between them. Attraction, whatever. You never know. There probably would have been, there probably was a good amount of courting. In fact, in the interview with Hoda, Jada has this interview and she says that Will actually was calling her on the phone, blah, blah, blah. They're having these long conversations on the phone. And her own mama came over to her and said, hey, you need to stop talking to this married man. This is a married man. This is not good. So she had to call Will and basically tell Will that I can't talk to you anymore because you're married. Then all of a sudden she gets a phone call because he finally got those divorce papers signed. And he's like, hey, are you with anybody? She's like, no. And then he's like, all right, bet, because now you're, you're with me now. And then she packs up everything, flies out to L.A. Let me tell you something. It is Will Smith. Clearly, she was keeping her options open. You got Tupac, I mean, allegedly. And then you got Will Smith as well. And Will Smith is like, he is booming out here in Hollywood. His name is getting out there. He is becoming the superstar that he ends up becoming, the movie star he ends up becoming, the very rich and famous individual that he ends up becoming. So what do you think she's going to do? She packed up her ish and she jet. She jet jetted out there quick. Let's keep it real. I mean, are we surprised about that? But clearly, she was rapping with, with him while he was still married. She even admits that in that Hoda interview as well. Then on top of it, doesn't make any sense. How can you be in L.A.? How can you be in L.A. if you're saying that you were in Rikers? The math ain't mathin'. Physically, the math just ain't mathin'. Let's continue. That's how immediately she flew to L.A. That's how immediately she flew to L.A., y'all. Let me be real. Before we go to part two, let's keep it real. These receipts are pretty damning. I will say this, okay? These receipts are pretty damning. This is part two. Again, go check her out. Jess, the prequel, does Miami. Uh, she came in with receipts, y'all. She ain't dumb. And none of us are, too. We all been talking about this on the social media streets, basically saying this math just ain't mathin'. Let's take a look at this video. Let's rock and roll. Jada, when in all that time did you visit Tupac at Rikers and get this fucking proposal? And for the record, Keisha and Tupac stayed married for about 10 months. They got their marriage annulled about four or five months after Tupac was released from prison. He was bailed out by Suge Knight. It wasn't long after that that he met Kadada Jones. Kadada Jones is mm. the daughter of legendary Quincy Jones. But it looks a little recognizable. You may know her sister, Rashida Jones, who played Karen on The Office. Bang. Kadada and Tupac were living together and engaged when Tupac was shot and killed. Kadada was the one that was there with him at the hospital the night he died. Kadada was handed his bloody clothes. She was the one who told him, we all love you, before he slipped into a coma and never woke up. Damn. Keisha spoke with Tupac several days before he died because even though they their marriage was annulled, they still remained good friends. And I can't mm. help but notice that all of the women who are actually part of his life in a meaningful way are the ones that have just kept quiet. They've kept silent. They've kept their memories to themselves and not tried to use a dead man as their limelight. And the person who's squawking about him the most is making claims that can't even be verified and don't make sense from the perspective of a verifiable timeline. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. You got plenty of other women that were that were that crossed paths with Tupac had amazing you know uh obviously it's up to your own judgment uh, uh, uh connections with varying degrees of connections with Tupac and all that and they're not out here all up in the videos doing all this extra stuff you don't see that you don't see them do doing any of that they of course they do some interviews here and there but they're not out here talking about oh yeah you know Tupac had alopecia just like me oh Tupac proposed oh he was he was my we were soulmates and blah 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 no one's claiming no one's out here doing that kind of stuff 
Only she is. And she's out here saying this ish. It's insane, y'all. It's insane to me. And of course, now when we see the the, the math, like we start seeing the equation start to, to lay out in front of us, it's not equating to her actually being proposed. And then also the other thing is, is where was she? Where was she during this whole thing when he was when he was going through these other things? Was she really ever around him during that time? I, like I said, I got questions, and I'm sure you guys do too. Let's continue. I see why we love you. <sighs> he needed a rock. Because of our friendship and because of everything we had been through together, he just wanted to feel that solidified foundation. Because so many people in that position don't have support. Right. None at all. None. You know? He and, got the best. Uh, he did get the best, but not from Jada, because per Will Smith's own words, that him and Jada were pretty much humping all over the world. They were traveling constantly Damn. from the, the first three months they were together all over the world. So Just saying. Tupac did get some great support, I imagine, from his wife who moved closer to be with him and visited him every day. Listen, it is pretty crazy. Obviously, there's a, a little bit more left in this video, but at the same time, this woman came in with receipts and she's got strong points here. And a question that keeps popping up is, is the interview that she has here where she talks about her relationship with Tupac and all that, is it true? Is it true? For me, I have so many questions. I have so many questions because the timeline is not lining up. And if he really was in Rikers and that's when she met him, let's play this out really quick. Sure, there's a good possibility that she went over there within the first three, four weeks that he was locked up. But then again, there's a good possibility possibility he, he she wasn't there when he was locked up in Rikers. He ended up getting transferred to a, another facility. And then, of course, she was falling in love with Will around that same time. Or at least Will was sitting there saying, come see me. You're with me now. Let's go. She literally, from what they're saying, from what this TikTok is saying, dropped everything and packed up her bags and flew out to L.A., Come on, guys. I mean, if you really think about it, why do you think she dropped everything? She had bought a brand new home in Maryland and ended up dropping it all, packed up her stuff, and moved out to live with Will. Why? Because, or at least live uh, and, and so that she could be closer to Will. Why do you think she did that? It's Will freaking Smith, for crying out loud. One of the biggest names and one of the biggest growing names in black entertainment and in entertainment, period. So, yeah, she definitely dropped everything. You could see that. And then, of course, on top of it is, is this someone who's just out here trying to continue to use Tupac's name for clout? I mean, that's what I feel like a lot of people, at least that's what the streets are saying right now. Yeah, she's just doing all this for clout, keeps dropping his name and all that. And it's frustrating. We all do know that one person that ran in or met a celebrity and they won't stop talking about how they met that celebrity or shared a drink with that celebrity or were once went to high school or college with that celebrity and they keep talking about it like they were bestest of friends when actually they just they were just a, they just knew each other in passing type of stuff we all know people like that right it's the it's the big fish story right so we all know that kind of person could it be a possibility that Jada is doing the exact same thing, the big fish story that just keeps getting added on and on and it keeps just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know. But I will say that this TikToker put out some serious receipts and it definitely, if anything, gives us something to really think about when it comes to her relationship and if this thing about being proposed is actually true or not. At least it makes us think. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. What do you what are your stance on this? I, like I said, it's just interesting and it's thought provoking nonetheless. And maybe she'll be able to uh, 
clarify a few things. I think that's what we need. That would be helpful. But we'll never know until she speaks up. But anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that like button down below. Please be sure to crush that subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube and on Facebook, crush that follow button. And also hit that subscription button over on my Facebook page as well. It'd be great to have you a part of the Pascal Show family on both platforms. Anyway, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.